Well, the genocide, um, if you, it would depend on how, is the genocide continuing in Guatemala? It depends on how you characterize the genocide. The genocide in terms of violent destruction of communities ended. Um, that, that massacring of communities ended. Um, but the army and the police still use those same methods to stop indigenous communities from standing up for their rights because ultimately the genocide was directed at the indigenous people of Guatemala because the indigenous people of Guatemala said we are human beings and we have rights and we want those rights respected but they were never treated as full human beings in Guatemala and so today um, there are huge battles going on at the local level about strip mining um, there are Canadian companies that are doing strip mining in um, Guatemala and um, those companies are involved in collusion with the military and the police because there have been violent takeovers of communities and displacements of communities on, on ancestral lands where people have voted that they don't want that strip mining to take place. So those same methods exist. So is it a genocide? I don't know that one would necessarily categorize it as that, but I do think that as long as the perpetrators of genocide aren't brought to justice, and as long as the methods that were used during the genocide continue, then maybe you would say it is a low, uh, a, a low intensity genocide. And whatever the case is, there's been no justice for the people there, and there's no justice today either.